Hi, you guys. It's your girl, Three Times a Lady, coming at you today with uh, my very first wig review. So today I have um, a synthetic lace front wig made by Bobby Boss. And the color is, it's a F427. And the style is MLF14 Pearl. Okay. So this is what it looks like inside of the packaging. Okay, I'm going to take it out and I will see what's going on here. Okay. Oh, all right, so it comes with the net. Check out the paper here. And... Here's actually a picture of it. So you guys can see MLF 14 Pearl Color F4 27. Alrighty. That's what it looks like on the picture. It also came with um, care instructions on the back. Let's see here. Um, and application instructions. Since I am not um, going to be keeping this wig on, I'm not going to be attaching it to my head. I'm not going to worry about that. But it also comes with um, adhesive tape if you do decide that you want to do that. So, let me grab my scissors, cut the tag off, and then I will um, apply the wig with the lace still on. Okay. Just to give you guys an idea what it looks like, um, you know, while it's on, before I cut the lace. Seems like I can get the string out, okay. Now I'll show you, see here, here's the lace. Okay. And... This is a lace front wig, not a full lace, and it's synthetic. The hair is really... I've had this hair... Um, I've actually had this wig for a while now. And this will be my first time actually wearing it. I always thought it was kind of long and might be inappropriate for the type of work that I do. Because I have to keep my hair up while I'm at work. And I really don't like having to do that because then, you know, it, it also gets tangled and stuff. There she is. Okay. Now she comes with three combs right there, two um, at the temple, and one in the back at the nape. Okay. It also has um, adjustable straps, which I will go ahead and adjust these now so I can show you guys what it looks like while it's on. Okay, so I've got my straps adjusted and uh, I've got my hair pulled back. It's all braided into one braid there. And I usually don't wear a wig cap, so I'm not going to do it now for this review because it just it's pointless. Um, usually, if I put on a wig cap, it'll start off right here, and then by the end of the day, it ends up back here somewhere. I would wear one if I could get it to stay on my head. If anybody knows a way that I can get my wig cap to stay on my head all day long, I will gladly take your advice. In the meantime, I'm just going to do it without it like I normally do. Okay? So I'm going to slide it on here. Okay. And I just fold my little ponytail piece underneath. Just like that. Can nobody tell so? Here she is. I think she is. Whew, she is luxurious. Oh, you guys, check out my eye makeup. I know it's it's two different colors and everything. Me and my daughter were playing around. She wanted to plan some makeup today, so I decided to go ahead and let her do it. No, she's only 10. I'm about to be 11 next week. 
I don't want her to, you know, start messing around too fast, but I will let her play in it if I am present. So, okay. Lace still on, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace off and reapply it. So, I'm just finger combing it a little bit, trying to make sure I got all the hairs pulled back so when I start to cut, I don't, um, you know, cut too much of the hair. And I just go right along the hairline with the scissors and cut. Um, I don't like cut too close to the hairline because you never know, you might cut off too much lace. So I prefer to just cut, get as close as I possibly can, and then if I need to go back and cut off a little more, then then I will. But usually I don't. I'm usually pretty okay with that. So uh, there we go. There's the lace. It's um a little bit of tangling. I mean, but you know, it is what it is. I can't remember exactly what I paid for this wig. I got it off um, hairwoolcarlin.com. I'll put the, their link um, in the description box. Yeah. Let's see where I cut the lace. I see I'm going to have to tuck my hair under here a little bit better because you can see the there we go. And I like this wig. It has a um a nice density to it all the way through. But it's not like super thick around the hairline. The hairline looks real natural. Okay. And let me turn around so you guys can see the back. And I think she is absolutely gorgeous. Let's see what else it says about this wig. So it's um it says premium fiber with Futura and I'm not if I'm not mistaken, I believe that um you can curl Futura. You can use heat on it up to a certain temperature. Um, I've never tried it. I usually just go with, you know, whatever it is. And then if it doesn't still look good to me or something like that, then I'll just toss it. Um, like I said, I don't remember what I paid for this. I want to say I got this um, on clearance. It was a couple of months ago when it was on clearance. Um, on HairWorkHarlem.com. Might have been a $23.99 to shipping is like $7 maybe something like that and um so yeah I think not bad for you know a $30 purchase you know including the shipping and handling and yeah like that. let's see um what else do I want to show you you guys want to see how how much parking space you have? I don't think it's very much. You need to grab a comb here. Let's see. I don't have a tape measure, so I'm going to guesstimate that. Directly down the center. And like I said, this is a synthetic lace front. Um, it doesn't have bleach knots or anything. It's just the lace in the front. And there you go. That, this is the end of the lace right here. 
and here is where like the first track starts so I would say that's about maybe an inch and a quarter or an inch and a half of parting in the front um, maybe if you wanted to try an off-center part it's about the same about an inch and a, and a quarter to an inch and a half so and I guess you can wear it you know either way a little side part um I don't really like this this kind of hump thing going on it makes me feel like I don't have it down all the way but for me when it has that hump like that I usually just like to wear it back with no part and then just kind of let the the curls fall whichever way you know without like a a real defined part to it just kind of like that I actually like it better on this side <laughs> like that and there is some tangling and I guess you know, not bad for um for a synthetic lace front. I really like the color on this, like F four twenty seven and like the P four twenty seven, those are like, like my color. Those are like natural my natural hair color is about a four. So I think it looks the most natural on me. Every now and then I'll venture out and give me like a two or something like that. Um so one wig that I wear in my um, that I was wearing in my uh, black women have eaten sort of two videos in those series those first three videos that I have up um, those are actually I mean that is actually a, a different color I don't know what it, I don't remember offhand what it is like a, a four twenty seven thirty three or something like that so I do like every now and then do try to wear like other colors just to get out of the same old colors but I really do like my 427 that just you know I just really like that hope you guys can really see it light that is gorgeous yeah but they definitely gonna tell me to put my hair up at work that's just that's a given right there alright all right, so that's it. Let me let me know um, what you guys think. Like I said, this wig is made by Body Boss. It's synthetic lace front, and it is style number MLF14 Pearl, color four F427. You guys see that? All right, all right, you guys. I'm out of here. You know these videos are a whole lot harder than people think they are. So um, I give props to everybody out there doing your thing. All right, you guys. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.